All right, hello. Welcome back, or welcome without the back if you are new. Uh, in this video, I'll be showing you how to create your own level door using using collision groups. And what I mean by level door is you have a leaderboard that says people's levels, and you have to be a certain level to enter. Okay, so to get started, I have a door right here and, or I should say a room that says level five required to enter. So um, I forgot to mention this last time, but make sure can collide is off or can collide is on for this by default, just so like before anything loads in, people can't get into it. And then in here is the special room, really not much to it because this is just an example. And basically for this to be short, I have a level system, it's just, um, or I will have a level system. So when you click this part, you will gain a level. So to start, we're going to create a script in server script service, and we're basically going to code the leaderboard, which is, um, which I'll do really quickly. Player added, colon connect function, player. So when the player's added, then we're going to create folder called leader stats leader stats dot name equals leader stats just like that leader stats dot parent equals player and we'll say local um, level level equals instance dot new int value level dot name equals level level dot parent equals leader stats and that will create a um that'll create a leaderboard. So from here I've added a click detector to this level block which is the block that when you click it it'll give you a level. So I'll say game dot workspace wait for child level block dot click detector dot mouse click I believe it is colon connect function and then we want to have a player argument in here which is the player who clicked it so then we just say player dot leader stats dot level dot value plus equals one so if that's done correctly wait did I Okay, should be good. Yeah, so the leaderboard's in there. I click this, you get a level. So now, every time we click this, you basically, or at least I want to check for, to see if, I want to check to see if the level is above five. And if it is, then create or add all of my body parts to a collision group that basically allows me to not be colliding with this part. So, um, first of all, we want to define physics service, which is how we create um, um, create collision groups. So we'll say local physics service equals game game get service physics service, just like that. Also, by the way, if you want to change how collision groups look normally, it's in model. And then collision groups, you'll see default, um, default and default. So basically what this means is anything can collide with anything as long as can collide is set to true. That's what the default is. When we have our own can collide won't matter. So you can add groups from here. Um, but in my case, I'm just going to script them so they appear and disappear possibly if well whenever you want them to be so after they gain a level well how about um yeah i will add them here so for the first collision group it's going to be the door um so i'm going to say level door I believe this plus adds another. You just pop this up. All right.
I'm not quite familiar with doing it this way. That's why I'm a little confused right now. So level door will be... Yeah, I'll just add it in the script because I don't like working with this editor. It's um, it's easier for me to do it in the script. So first of all, when the game runs, we're going to create the collision groups. So we're going to say physics service, which is the thing we defined. Create collision group. And from here, um, let me just make sure I don't mess this up. Okay, so then you just insert a string, which is the name. In my case, I'm going to call it level five door. So that will create that collision group, and then we'll say physics service colon create collision group, and this will be the body parts. Um, so we'll say players that that can players. I'll just say characters level level five. Try to keep it short, but not like too short that you don't understand it. All right. So this will basically create two collision groups. And then basically what we want to do is say physics service. And this is where, yeah, I think it's um, collision groups set collidable. So then string one is the name of the first collision group in this case, level five door. Second string is the name of the second one. Characters level five. And then we'll say they cannot collide. So it should be can by default. So we're just going to make sure they cannot collide. So when this um, player um, gains a level, we're going to say if player dot dot leader stats dot level dot value is more than or equal to five, then we're going to make them not collide with the door. So this is where it, it's, this is pretty much the end. We just have to define the, or put all the body parts in, into the thing. So we're gonna do a pair in pairs loop, um, player.character, do, oh, player.character get children, I meant. So it's gonna loop through all the, all the children of the character, and we're gonna say if body part is a is a part or body part is a mesh part. I believe that's all the different types of body parts, but I'm just gonna add if body part is a union operation as well. Also known as just a union. So if that, then um, physics service colon um, then you do, I'm trying to remember, set part collision. There we go. So set part collision group. Then we say the part, which in this case is the body part it's looping through. And then, let me make sure I'm just getting these parameters right. It's the part, and then the string of the, which is the name. So that should be good. Um, and in this case, it's characters level five. So right now we should have a working level door, and I will show you that right now. All right. So right now, can't enter. But you go over to the part. Click it five times, it's checking every single time. Three, four, five. And now it says it is more than or equal to that. So it, um, all right. <laughs> I figured out the problem. I'm not, um, I, I don't really like how I forgot about that. This isn't in the collision group right now. So what I need to do is say up here, physics service colon set part collision group and then I'll say game dot workspace wait for child level block level five door I mean level five door then set it to
and set it to the collision group called level 5 door. That's why it wasn't working. It wasn't even in the <laughs> collision group. Duh. All right, so now click it five times. One, two, three, four, five. It says false, which I added as a print that says what the value of it is. So see, you can walk through it now. Actually, that wasn't a good test. Let me just show you that you can't walk through it normally. And that's pretty much it. So if we go over here, can't walk through it. And then if we get to level five, we can walk, we can't. So that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed and see you next time.